A, qu a question here from Jeff uh, on volume says, can you explain how you measure volume on a rate of change basis sure. and what that means in relation to liquidity and how it correlates to volatility? It's a thoughtful question. Yeah, um, so volume, you can you measure volume, anything you measure, measure it across durations. So build your spreadsheet on, on, on one axis, you're gonna have what you're looking at, tickers. On the other axis, you're gonna have basically durations. So if you're looking at uh, the 10 day average of volume or you're looking at the 30 day average or the one year average, that's kind of how I'd look at it. Actually, Josephine is supposed to be explaining to people what the X and Y axis are. Can you pull up the volume uh, chart there? Thank you. Um, so again, I'm, I'm looking at total market, market volume. So on, again, if you're on the Y axis, you would just list a bunch of things and then you'd blow it out across durations uh, at, at, atop the cross of your spreadsheet. So if you look at where the volume is versus the one day versus the one month average, one, the three month average, one year average, you have multiple durations there. You have immediate term, intermediate term, and long term. Um, and that's, that's how I would think about volume. Um, the reason why volume, price, and volatility, their relationship matters is because the, the patterns uh, are, are explicit. So now that I, could, I could show this better on a whiteboard, but when price is going up and volume's going up and volatility is going down, you can buy and hold anything you want. That's the most, that's like living in sunny California, no rain, beautiful days every day, no humidity. Unfortunately, in California, you don't have those days every day. So you know that you need to understand that there's a difference. Now, if price is going down and volume is going up and volatility is going up, that's very, very bad. If price is going up and volatility is not changing and volume is actually going down, that's called a head fake. So you gotta be most careful of that third one. The third one is, is called the head fake, it's for suckers. And if you don't know who the sucker is at the poker table, it's you.